Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Ram Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys my custom Mac OS inspired theme on Windows. Okay, so this is one of my favorite desktop themes that I have and I'm going to show you guys how I do it step by step. So if you guys are on Windows and really like the Mac theme, you guys can do it also. So this is how it's going to look in the final result, something similar to this, not exactly, but you know, you'll have the taskbar on the bottom and then the whole look will be like Mac. Okay. And you know, right now you can see this, I have the regular windows 11 theme, or if you have windows 10, it works as well. And uh, let's get started. So first what we want to do is go to my And over here you want to install this application. So it is available on steam for, around four dollars which is not bad uh, but I'll also be leaving a link in my description below where you guys can download it and install it from there um, they also have their github where they do have all the releases available over here but for some reason um, there aren't any here right now I don't know if there's a bug or something but you know he it, it explicitly says full packages and update downloads address so they should be available here but um, currently they're not, but I will leave a link in the description below where you guys can download it from. So once you download it, you will have this, you will have a zip file and then you can extract it and then you will have all these files. All right. Um, what we want to do is want to run this mydoc.exe. So let me just double click that. All right. You can see now we got the thing on top, the, the finder right um the, uh, like a small toolbar on top as well as this uh scroll thing over here right so similar to this down here let me just change it to english yeah so similar to thing this down here right uh with the eye country right um <clears throat> you guys can see it over here as well so this dock over here so now, next, what we want to do is we want to get rid of our regular Windows uh, taskbar. So you can right click here and we want to hide taskbar. OK, so our regular taskbar is hidden and now we have this over here. OK, um, also, you might need to go to preferences and preferences and change the language if yours is not in English. Um, I know some people had issues with that but it's just um, a preference on on what language you speak so so let me close that sorry so now we got the top toolbar as well as this um, tray on the bottom over here okay so next what we're going to do is we want to mess around with some of the settings for this um, toolbar on the bottom so um, let's see open my doc open my finder right uh general display scale right that, that should be fine you know you can change the themes of everything let's go to general icon default size so if you want it to be huge you could L looks kind of ridiculous but that's up to you <laughs> so uh, i don't even know what it was regular uh so the zoom size is definitely smaller i mean larger than so yeah that's good uh, distance between icons. I like it more together. Dock on the edge of the screen a little up. Uh, here is good. So advanced. You know, there's you can set like hotkeys and things like that, which I won't mess with in this video over here. Windows Preview. Nope. Uh, general. Okay, I don't want the Apple logo. I'd rather have the Windows logo on the top, because you know I it is a Windows at the end of the day, so. This is just a theme. Um, the time, let's do. Okay, all of these are weird. Seven, okay, sure. This one, even though I am in America, so PM should be coming afterwards, but that's fine. Um, audio, you know, that's right now is, let's see. So this over here, display, that's fine. Um, battery percentage monitor. So I am using a desktop. So let's keep this, let's see, the CPU, core temperature. 
and yeah, that should be fine. All right, so now we have um, a couple of options set up. So one thing you do want to make sure you have enabled is auto start at boot. Okay, so this just basically when you restart the computer, it would automatically start up. All right, you want to keep that enabled. So next what we want to do is put any applications on your toolbar on the bottom that you like. So let me just view, show my desktop icons, and let me just add a couple of icons which, you know, I may or may not think are important, but just to fill up the taskbar on the bottom. Right, um, so let's just put everything. All right, so, th all right, so, th so that looks a lot better, um, you know, uh, more full and better in my opinion. So let's close this out, minimize this, and you want to hide your icons. So right click, view, and show desktop, make sure it's unchecked. All right, so now we have a clean look over here. All right, next let's look at the launch pad and add a couple of uh, programs in there. So the launch pad is right here. And let's add some exe files or whatever you want to put. So those, I'll put these three over here. Okay, I just dragged them from my other screen if you guys um, aren't probably able to see that. But yeah, I added those three. So now basically if we want to view them, you can just click launch pad and you can see these three icons over here and you can select whichever one you want to launch. So that's basically the, basically the launch pad. Um, you know, it, some, some people don't really use it, but you know, you need a, a place to have all your icons or your programs, right? Uh, so on Windows, it'll be the regular start menu, right? Um, so you still need a place to access them over here. Um, so the launch pad would be the place for that. So moving on, now let's change the background. So in my opinion, one of the best backgrounds that go with this whole Mac OS theme is this one. <clears throat> so it's from DeviantArt and the Cosmic River one. Okay, and there's a couple of other ones also, but this one in my opinion, I think it looks really nice and goes well with it. So you just need to log in. I'll pause the video, log in and download it. So now I, I logged in, so now let's download it. All right, so it's there. Let's open up uh, my downloads folder and let's look at the backgrounds. So this is the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. So let's look at, let's do one, the second one. I like the second one a little more. They're all very similar, but you know, let's just do it. So I gotta extract it. So let me open up my desktop folder. So now we can just drag this over here. All right, where is it? So I have it here. Let's right click and set as desktop background. So now let's just minimize everything and see. So this looks a lot better. Okay, you guys can see that <clears throat> the um, the whole look of it is similar to a Mac computer you would see um, on any other ones. All right, <clears throat> next what we want to do is install a couple of widgets. Okay, so in my opinion, the best, one of the best uh, tools for that is a program called B Widgets. So let's go to the Microsoft Store and search for B, B Widgets right here. You want to go here, install it. Should take a couple seconds, it's not that big, right? Um, yeah, just 12 megabytes. All right, now let's open it, let's close this. All right, so now we want to create a couple of new widgets, okay? So this widgets will allow us to <coughs> add, so no, new widget, so like the time. So, you know, you can, let me just rename it to time. You want to, I want to customize it. Let's change the height to four. Let's just see, or I mean the width for 70, because I, I want it to be a little wide, right? Nothing too crazy. I think that should be good, right? Height 150, that's fine. 
and now enable visible okay let's do 12 hour format that just looks more cleaner in my opinion remove the zero that's uh, don't really need that separate is fine appearance is let's see let's choose transparent okay that's nice okay background that that doesn't I guess really matter when um, if it's transparent all right so now we see the foreground color we want to change the foreground the font size <laughs> to something bigger so then that, that that looks good right uh, maybe a little smaller yeah that's that's fine and um, let's see um, a, a, a font style that looks really nice is Montessori extra light yeah so this one's really good all right um, we'll set it to that and let's see set position X no set position All right, let's. Um, so it's weird that it's not being centered. Um, set position. Yeah, for some reason on my desktop it's not being centered, but so I, I'm gonna just manually center it right there. Um, and the thing is you really can't drag it unless you're clicking on the numbers itself. So only then you are able to drag it. Otherwise you cannot drag it. So if I click here and try to move it, nothing will happen. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the layout. You know, you can keep it centered or wherever you want. Uh, in my opinion, it's just um, looks pretty nice centered. All right. Uh, next, let's close this out and op open up be widgets again and let's go to settings for a second preferences you want to run on startup and hide on startup as well because you don't you want it to run but you don't want this thing to pop up every time so yeah just make sure to do that on the settings and then you can close it so that's pretty much it you know you guys can see over here all right it's still running that's fine all right you guys can see over here this is a, a lot more cleaner theme is highly inspired by Mac OS, and in my opinion, it just looks really nice and sleek. It has a minimalistic design, which, you know, in my opinion, it's it's really good, right? Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Just one more thing I just remembered. Um, you want to do automatically high taskbar on st at startup, so the taskbar doesn't start up again. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Look at the theme. It's a lot. It, it even has the effects of uh, Mac OS. So you see the transitions, um, you know, when you're opening something or closing it, it's just all that. So it's really nice. The thing you do have to take into consideration is it doesn't change the whole theme. So if you open a folder, it still looks like the Windows folder. Um, but yeah, th this wouldn't change that. It's more of just like the desktop and whatever um, is displayed on the desktop. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I hope you liked the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It definitely helps the channel. Other than that, peace out.